Today I will show you how to make the slit scan effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so to make the slit scan effect, you will first want to have a clip that extends a bit longer. What I mean by that is like just have it a bit like smooth. This is kind of smooth here. Basically just a longer clip. Like if your clip is just one second long, this might not be a great idea. This actually will not be a good idea. Now I just want to show you that I am editing in 24 frames per second, but you can be editing in whatever frames you want. Now I will show you how to use this effect and I will also show you how to not use this effect. So now I'm going to show you how to use this so here i have a clip that looks like this it's a long continuous clip which is perfect for this effect and it actually extends like this which will make for a really cool transition uh, so the first thing you want to do is create a new solid layer by right clicking going to new and pressing solid layer and i'm gonna make it dark and here like everyone adds gradient ramp so i will do it as well now this will make it go from top to bottom or bottom to top i kind of forgot but what i will do is i'll actually make it go from side to side so i'm gonna drag this side right here and drag this side like right here yeah something like this and now i will just uncheck this so we won't be able to see it and i will now right click press new and i'll make an adjustment layer now we can just not add an adjustment layer and add everything i'm about to add on top of your clip but this works very well if you want to transition so i'm gonna show this a bit more for a transition uh, so here i'm going to add time displacement which is very important for this effect and here you want to make the time displacement layer to the black salt and the time displacement layer source to effects and masks and you will have your little slit scan effect it's gonna look a bit pixelated like that it's gonna look like a really nice transition because of how continuous this is another thing i like to do here is a bit i like to go and add gaussian blur just to make it a bit smoother and here i'm gonna make the blurriness to like two because i just want to make it a bit smoother you can make it a bit higher but it's gonna be a bit more blurry and you can also do this if you go to black solid layer and you can make it different like you can make it go from top to bottom so i can actually show you that if you make this go to top and this to bottom it can go from top to bottom or actually from bottom to top i am a bit confused from what i'm saying right now yeah it can look like this you can also take this to the top and this to the bottom yeah oh yeah, actually this looks a bit cooler yeah this is a cooler version i think and yeah it will be a really nice slit scan effect it's very cool to use for transitions uh but make sure to have a bit of a longer clip this clip is definitely a bit longer so now i will show you what you would not want to do so here i have a shorter clip which is i'm pretty sure about two seconds long so it's not the worst but i would really recommend to have this on like at least a three second clip so here i'm going to turn back on the adjustment layer and you will start to see a bit of a problem so as you can see this is having a black bar now why is this happening well we selected time resolution fps to 60 now what 60 actually means is well it is 60 frames per second but also from this frame right here you need to have one full second of motion here so if we actually extended this and came back here uh, actually wait we need to extend a bit further oh yeah and this we need to expand a bit further wait it still doesn't work okay so it is just dark here i think this is happening because the previous clip was just dark yeah something like that well what i'm trying to say with this clip is the problem it's a bit too short look at this clip it just goes like this yeah it's it's a way too short of a clip not much happens you should not have a really short clip make sure it's a longer clip like this and it's also needs to be like a continuous clip it can go down it can go from the side yeah really mess around i guess you can set it to different angles even like try being original and make something like this this could also look pretty cool actually that actually looks really cool and i would also like to let you know that i have been a video editor for around seven years now and i also have a video editing website which is called poikas.com which basically just helps other video editors have crazy visuals such as my dark opium presets which are basically like Ann Carson visuals or VHS presets that give you that nostalgic look and that really damaged VHS look so I would really recommend to check out povikas.com if you want to up your editing game to the next level these presets are very easy to use it's as simple as dragging and dropping a preset it will load up and you will have a flicker effect but this is how what will look with like flicker heavy 4v2 but anyways that's about it for the video if you have any questions then again please let me know but anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.